Hello, Loveland Magazine. This is Cassie Mattia, the food guru. And I am here on our second assignment here in Loveland at Paxton's Grill with the man, the myth, the legend, Ralph Dunnigan. Here he is. How's it going today, Ralph? Good, good. Great, Cassie. Thank you. Awesome. Beautiful, uh, beautiful Monday. Oh, yes, yeah. it is. And you're popping here. It's busy. Yeah. We had a nice little lunch, yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Now, I'm sure you guys always go to a town and kind of look around, looking for somewhere to eat, looking for somewhere to go after getting on the bike path. This is the place where everyone knows everyone. It's been around forever. And when I say forever, it's one of the oldest buildings in Loveland. One of the first buildings, which is pretty cool. So what I want to start with, let's talk about Paxton's foundation. Okay. Let's talk, let's give a little history lesson maybe. Let's yeah, give the sure. people a history sure. lesson. Um, Paxton's was named after Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Paxton. And um, he uh, is a Revolutionary War uh, veteran and got a grant of land here. And uh, everybody knows that history, I think. And we just thought it would be cool to name our restaurant after him. And uh, much, so much so that we named Ramsey's after his son-in-law, wow. William Ramsey. So, yeah, and that, uh, uh, we've owned it for 21 years now. And uh, my partners bought it in the 2000. I joined the group in 2004. So, uh, yeah, it's been quite a ride. Now, when I was looking about General Paxton, he's pretty awesome. Some of the things I, I looked into, he actually had Christmas feast in Valley Forge with George Washington yeah, yeah. and Alexander H Hamilton. What the mm -hmm. heck? That's pretty cool. So, I mean, That's it's a, a pretty, good, pretty good crowd. Yeah, right. yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now, um, adding into that, I know this building used to be a saloon, obviously, right. mm -hmm. um, 1860s. And then... Um, 1863, we got, you know, Paxton coming down. Then we have Ramsey coming down 35 years later. Right, right. Um, How does it feel to really have this restaurant be a part of, really, Loveland's DNA? I, it's just, uh, it feels great. Yeah. I mean, we've seen su such growth here. And um, it's been, uh, like I said, 21 years and a lot of growth. The works has been here, the Tano, Ramsey's, now Rody, And, yeah, it's just great. Great wow. to have all that growth. Wow. And it was in 2000 or 2001 when you guys opened your doors? 2000. 2000. Okay, gotcha. Because I, I saw it different a couple of times, and I'm like, I'm going to ask Ralph about yeah. that one. Um, now, adding on to that, you know, Ralph, do you live in Loveland? Do you have history in Loveland? I, know, I live close. I live in Mason. Okay, Mason. But, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I've got to uh, spend most of my time here, it seems right, like. But. of course. Now, why open a restaurant in Loveland? What, what ties do you have to Loveland that just made you feel like, you know what, this is the spot for me? My partners, uh, when they first opened it, they wanted a place like Zips. Okay. in, in uh, Mount Lookout yeah. uh, and I think we've got that you know great burgers and uh, great sandwiches and a good atmosphere fun atmosphere so yeah. Yeah, that's now, originally what it was one of the cool things I saw on your website and I loved this and it was almost like a mission statement mm -hmm. to me it says we welcome you to Paxton's Grill and are proud to pay homage to Thomas Paxton and his early contributions to what is now called the historic Loveland district that's pretty cool yeah. that you're still paying homage to, I mean, because sometimes you lose sight of that. Right. You lose sight of where you've been, and now here you are. Sure. Um, in regards to that, what I really want to talk about next is, why do you think, you know, these guests right now that are in here, I'm sure you see pretty often. I know I know a couple people at the bar right yeah. now that come here all the time. Mm -hmm. Why do they keep coming back? I think uh, it's more of a cheers atmosphere. It feels great. It's great food, great service. Um, I've got some employees who have been here for a long, long time that take care of the guests, and even when the new people would start, they understand our mission is to make you feel at home, right. and that's what uh, is very important to us. So, Now, tell me more about that staff. I was going to ask about it. Mm -hmm. There's veterans. There has yeah. to be. Yeah. Um, do you have cooks that have been here forever? Do you have a head chef? What, what are the dynamics here? I, I love the mission statement, right. but, you know, when a new staff member comes in, what do the veterans do to make them feel at I home? Think, uh, they, they try and make them feel at home as far as uh, learning what they could and... Um, teaching them things that really what it takes to succeed here. Other restaurants are successful too, but I think we're different in some ways in that uh, we have, you know, great, uh, great feel for everything. Right, right. You really do too. And now, now, you know, with the menu, I come here once a week. Uh -huh. I do. And it's usually on one of the days I'm off and my boyfriend's, you know, he's a manager at Chipotle. He's working okay. up there. You know, I got to take a break from Chipotle. Right. I love the big Paxton's veggie wrap and sweet potato fries. Oh my gosh. There we go. And I'm vegan, so you, are, you guys are able to make it vegan for me too. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the menu. What are some of your favorite items? What are your popular items? I also want to know, how do you come up with those daily specials too? Okay, we have a, 
Uh, let's talk about that first. Uh, daily specials, I leave it up to my kitchen crew primarily. Um, it, you know, just come up with some great ideas what would what, uh, be fun to make, what would be uh, people would like, what people would buy. Right. And uh, so that's pretty much up to them. The menu itself, um, a lot of sandwiches, a lot of great sandwiches, a club, uh, the um, great Reuben sandwich yes. that we have, and uh, of course, the waffle fries. And uh, we have burgers, as I mentioned before, which is a the big Paxton burger. It comes with bacon and two types of cheese. It's just uh, all the fixings. And uh, we changed our menu a little bit, and then now you can add any side you want to any item. So if you want to get a um, a big passion with a cup of fruit, you could do that, or a big passion with some fries, you could do that too. So. Wow, and you know what? That reminds me too. Every time I try to build my big Paxton's mm -hmm. veggie wrap, or I get the veggie burger, you can get toppings. Just right. keep adding on the toppings. Ramsey's does it too. Yes. I find that so awesome because usually, you know, you get a dollar fifty up charge, right. two dollar up charge. But you guys are more community based. You just want the people to have what they want yeah, on that sandwich. That's nitpicking, I think, and you know, just Amen. we don't need that. Yeah. Exactly, so, exactly. That's why I love this place. I mean, the community is and just we have great salads too. Yes. Um, I don't know if you tried any of our salads. Oh, you but. know I have. Being vegan. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite item? Uh, I like the fajita salad. The fajita salad. I really enjoy that. I love the dressing mixed in there. I love the cheese on it, and of course the chicken. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just it's a great Delicious. salad. Now. Uh, for right now, you know, the past few months, what do you keep seeing pop up as a menu item that's just popular, that's just out of this world? I'm just curious, because I know seasonal probably, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Right now, what is that item? Uh, Reuben. It's got to be a Reuben. Right yeah. around St. Patrick's Day, a lot of people serve a lot of those. And, um, yeah, other than that, I can't think of any one item other than the Reuben. Now, how did St. Patty's Day go for you? I know you were doing the kegs and eggs, it having was, some it fun. fun. It was fun. It was uh, great to be back to that wonderful feeling. Uh, not having to worry so much about COVID and just enjoy yourself Amen. and be safe and wash your hands and yeah, it was fun. Wash everything. You it's, know. it's nice to have a day like that finally again. Right, so. right. And, and, and I feel right now looking around, you know, looking, looking outside, it, I feel it a little bit. Yeah, it's getting last there. weekend was just a, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday was beautiful weather and wow. yeah. And it's supposed to be nice. I know it's supposed to rain sometime this week, but right. 70s for the most part. I'll take it. Sure. You're going to be popping over yeah. here. Um, so back to the staff, you know, I love hearing stories, mm -hmm. you know, in-house stories. Um, like I said, my boyfriend's a part of the restaurant business, so I love it. Right. I love the atmosphere. Have you had any special moments that you want to talk about or just special scenarios where you're like, wow, that's something I'm always going to remember? It's always uh, good to me when we have our staff that they um, – have an addition to their family, you know, they have a baby and, you know, they take some months off to take care of the child and then they come back to work and they bring the kid in here and it's just, it's nice to see that. Yes, um, absolutely. It's, uh, especially some of the long-term people who have been here with us, so, but yeah. Your employee that's been here the longest, you don't have to say a name, but yeah. how long has it been? 15 years. There you go. Yeah. That says a lot right there. And I've got another one, uh, 14 years, uh, another eight and another seven, so. That's, yeah. that's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, that, that attests Knock to you. Wood. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, now, you know, obviously the community has seen this place go through unbelievable renovations, right. incredible renovations. Mm -hmm. It needed it. It's been around since 1863. Right. You know, you know, it, it needed it. But what are some of your favorite, some of your favorite renovations? And then kind of just speak on what, what you've done thus far. Here you mean? Yeah, maybe just in the past couple years. You don't have to go through all, you know, 100 years. <laughs> well, just recently we uh, upgraded the dining room here a little bit, lightened the colors, and added some things and uh, put a new kitchen floor in for our, our cooks. Okay. Um, th that a part I like, and of course, the patio. You know, we put that in a few years ago, and the awning uh, went in uh, that same year. And okay. just That's been a, a tremendous addition. People love that out there. I wish it was two times, three times as big. But yeah, amen. Unfortunately, amen. I can't. But. Now... I don't know if this is correct because I've only lived in downtown for three years. Uh -huh. Did you put a new sign up? Is that sign yeah. new? Okay. So Just uh, we did. It. Uh, it was getting a little dated, <laughs> yes. so we uh, had um, fast signs make us another one, and I they love did a that great sign. job. Yeah, they did a great job. I'm serious. That's yeah. one of the first things I noticed when you guys were like, "Okay, we're opening up again." Right. You know, after the renovations, I'm like, oh, "That sign's beautiful." Yeah. 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 Well, thank you. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Glad I mean, it, it looks gorgeous in here. It really does. Still has that um, vintage charm, of course, but it's, yeah. you know, that almost has that saloon vibe I, still, too, you know? We want, yeah. We want uh, everybody to feel, like I said, feel at home. Feel at home. Have a good time when you come in here. And, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I, 
I always feel at home when I come here, and I always bring my family here. So, well, thank and, you. And I'll continue to do that. All right. Um, now, I've talked about, you know, why do your guests keep coming back? What do you think sets Paxton's apart from other restaurants? Not in the area, just mm -hmm. all across Cincinnati. What is the one, number one thing that you're like, that's why we're here still uh, in this many years? I think it's hard to say. I just think person your personal um, relationship with people and when they come in the door, they're not just customers, uh, they're family members to us. They're, a lot of them are, uh, supported us during the pandemic, you know, and carry out and online orders. Uh, it's just, I think that's it. But I think a lot of restaurants are like that. I think we try and strive that the most. But. Let me go back to that. I don't know if you heard Loveland, but he said, you guys aren't customers, you're family members. Yep. I've been taught from day one, you never call somebody a customer. Mm -hmm. You never do that. Yep. If you want to call him a guest, that's fine. Right. I, that mentality, that says a lot about you as well. Yeah. So I love that. Uh, family members. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring that forth <laughs> to the people. Um, I love this question because it kind of gets you thinking a little bit. What do you think the future holds for Paxton, maybe five to ten years down the road, or even for yourself? What's your goals? Well, it's, uh, um, it's hard to say. I, don't, I haven't really thought about it. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> probably uh, would love to grow some more. Yeah. Um, We'll see what happens uh, down the road. You never know. We're building a third restaurant um, ah, in Madeira, uh, okay. but that's uh, probably a year away. Okay. And uh, but as far as us, you will just have to keep on uh, keeping the place up and, and keeping the customers coming in. Amen to that. Yeah. Amen to that. And I didn't know about the third restaurant. That's pretty yeah. cool. That's yeah. awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be coming back to learn more about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. So, you know, Ralph, thank you so much for this. I mean, no I appreciate yeah. it. Um, we're going to take a stroll around, just look at everything that you got going on. But is there anything else that you want to say to the community of Loveland? I would love to. Uh, we are getting very busy and we're looking to hire. Okay. So anybody that's looking for a job, a server, busser, host, uh, cook, we'd love to talk to you. Okay. Come on in. Now hiring, Loveland, you heard yeah. it here. And as he said earlier, you're a family member. That means a lot. Um, coming into the restaurant business community, right? Yes. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Ralph, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, I'm, Kathy. I'm so glad that you're going to be a part of the Food Guru. Um, Loveland, you heard it first here. Y'all are family members, right from Ralph Dunnigan. All right, everyone. We'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.